Creating 2014. December 28, 2013. As the year draws to a close, we know you have a tendency to look back and say, oh it was a good year. Or it was a hard year. I'm glad it's over. As human beings you give yourselves permission to dream anew at the turning of the clock on midnight, December 31st. But in reality dear ones, you can dream new dreams, and create new realities with every breath you take, in every given moment of time. In every moment, you are creating a new you. So regardless of what 2013 has brought into your life, Take a moment at midnight on December 31st and focus on the spark of light that glows so brightly within your own heart. Imagine at that instant, the light in everyone's heart on earth is glowing brightly, expanding, connecting and uniting you all in one beautiful bright and brilliant sea of light. Imagine that you can see yourself this time next year, and feel the joy of having all your dreams come true. It is magical from our perspective to see into human hearts at midnight on December 31st. Much of the world is hopeful. Much of the world is allowing themselves to dream their dreams. Many in the world are taking the time to do something meaningful for themselves, whether it be standing in a crowd toasting the new year, or staying quietly at home in prayer. There is so much positive energy in this instant, not because it is the end of an arbitrary marker on the calendar, in a scheme of eternal nows but rather because humanity chooses to give this moment significance. Humanity chooses to celebrate, chooses to dream, chooses to live in a positive way. So join your hearts in that wonderful vibration of hope, joy, and celebration and allow it to amplify your own light. What do you want to create in 2014? Write a letter to God, much as many of you used to write letters to Santa Claus. Dear God, in 2014, I would dearly love your help. Take away my need to control life and help me trust you. Help me feel your love, share your love, and be your love. Here are my dreams God. Make them come true. Guide me and let me know what to do and when to do it. And if you have better dreams for me, I gratefully accept your gifts and your grace. And then dear ones, list your dreams, great and small, all of them, no matter how long it takes. And when you are done, as you read your letter out loud to God, take time as you read each dream, to imagine you have already received it. What does it feel like? Stop and give thanks. Go on to the next. Repeat this reading feeling as many times as you like in the years to come, for in truth, this is a powerful prayer, not just to ask, but to tune into that which you seek. We love you. We celebrate your presence upon the earth every moment of our eternal existence. Nonetheless, you are human, so we wish you a very happy and blessed new year, and a new you fashioned according to your heart's dearest desires. The Angels Channeled by Ann Albers. Angel Messages. Visions of Heaven. Com.